Okay, so we're expected to prepare some bullet point notes. So I've grabbed some information from Britannica Online. Now remember your online encyclopedias provide really good, clear, concise overviews of topics. Plus they're available from home and you can choose a lower level of reading if it's too hard. And if it doesn't have enough information, you can choose the next level up. So the first thing we're going to do is just highlight short snappy phrases of a couple of paragraphs. Don't do too much more than that because by the time you get to the next section you will have forgotten it. So, seismically active belt of volcanoes. So it's a seismically active belt. Now I'm not too sure of what seismically belt means but I'm going to go and look it up maybe later but it sounds like it's important now it's in a seismically active belt and it's a belt of these two things so I'm going to use volcanoes and tectonic plate boundaries that roughly surrounds the Pacific Ocean now now it's starting to talk about where it is so I'm going to change color so use an alternative highlight color if it starts to talk about something specific or something different. Because the volcanoes frequently erupt in fiery explosions the belt is known as the ring of fire. Well I don't need to really highlight that because my heading tells me oh, it's all about the ring of fire so don't keep highlighting stuff that you've already done or words you've already done. Many earthquakes occur in this region as well okay so many earthquakes occur so I'm just going to choose a general color now for much of its 40,000 kilometre length, so 40,000 kilometres long, might need to take that length. The ring of fire follows a change of islands. Now remember I put green for when it was talking about where it was, so maybe I'm going to change back to green for this. Follows chains of islands. And these islands include Tonga and Vanuatu the Indonesian archipelago, the Philippines. So don't hi highlight the the and the ands and the is's. Try and avoid those because you're just really boiling down to the most important words. Words, the Kuril Islands, yep, don't know where they are, and the Aleutians. The belt also includes the western coast of North America, so it's still talking about its sort of location where it is so I'm still going to keep the green so it includes the western coast of North America and the Andes of the South America excellent about three-fourths of the world volcanoes occur within the ring of fire well this is just general information so I'm going to go back to my blue so three-fourths of volcanoes. The ring of fire encapsulates several tectonic plates. Okay, so it has several tectonic plates in there, including the vast Pacific plate, vast Pacific plate, and the smaller Philippine Juan de Fuca, Cocos and Nazca plates. Earth plates move at different rates in different directions. So these plates move at different rates. So I think that's the important, that they move at different rates and in different directions. As the Pacific plate and the plates around it grind into each other, so as these plates grind into each other, they cause earthquakes and volcanoes. Major volcanic events have occurred within the ring of fire. Major vol volcanic events incur within there. And then it gives me a big long list. There's Mount Tambora in 1815. So I'm just going to take a couple of these examples and I could see that these are on the list of other volcanoes so maybe I'll include a couple of those. And look, there's even mine. Wait a minute. Mount Tipinatubu in 1991 erupted there. The ring of fire has been the setting for several of the largest earthquakes recorded in history 
including the Chile earthquakes of 1960, the Alaska earthquake of 1964, and as my assignment is mainly about volcanoes, I don't think I need to even include that. There's my citation down the bottom there. So once I've highlighted it, then I'm going to start bringing these words across over here. Try and use your own words wherever possible. So I looked that word up in a dictionary and it actually means movements of the earth crust. So this is an active belt of volcanoes and tectonic plate boundaries. And we're all talking about the ring of fire. So I'm going to call, give that my heading. And this is going to be a bullet point. So I'm just going to make that a bullet point. And it's an active belt of seismic movements. And if I look that word up, it means earth moving. Um, it includes in that belt two things, volcanoes and tectonic plate boundaries. Now I'm just going to move those in. Um, I just think I could say that it includes and then these two is what does it include. So I'm going to highlight that and move that across to make a sublist. And that's right up your top. Sublist and move it across. Let's see what I did. See how I moved it across there now? You choose the little right arrow up the top underneath, sort of indenting, under paragraph it is. Now I keep going, drawing this up, and then I shuffle my little bullet points around and put them under headings. So have a look what I finally produced. Here's my heading. Get that back where you can see it. Here's my heading. Here's my bullet points. Short and snappy. No keep repeating any phrases if we're talking about the ring of fire. Um, try and avoid full sentences. Impose some little order. This is a little sublist. So major volcanic events happen here and then I listed three. Something about the location and I put those all together. And that's what we need to do for our bullet point list.